Okay, today I was going to uh, show you how you can 3D print a dual drive gearbox. It's one of the most commonly used mechanical devices in vintage toys that you'll find. It uh, allowed them to take one motor and run two different gearboxes for two different applications. You would see this in not only robots and space toys but and vintage battery operated dogs that would walk one way and you'd push a different button on the remote and then they would bark and turn their heads. In this case I'm using a dollar store a battery box to make it easy to reverse the voltage to the motor. What you have is the output of the motor is on this gear here. This floating idler gear will be not only propelled by which way the motor is running but then it will engage the other gears to give me more reduction. So this is something you can 3D print and I'll put the files up on Thingiverse and uh, make your own toys or figure out what you want to do with it or modify it. It'll work in any position. <clears throat> Very reliable. Um, toys for example that used it that are favorites of mine for example on my channel and I'll put a link in the description. This is Mr. Mercury and Mr. Mercury was um, had two motors, one motor down on the leg section and if you pushed one button it would walk and if you pushed the reverse button then it would bend at the waist. One motor did both things, two gearboxes. Then the arms had one motor and the one motor when it ran in one direction would make the arms go up and down and when you would reverse the voltage of the motor then it would make the arms open and close. So that's one example. Uh, another robot that used it would be the door robot and again I'll put a link to this if you want to see it but uh, the door robot you had your two buttons on the remote if you pushed one it would walk if you pushed the other it would stop walking and the uh, head would light and spin around with a color bar and things moving in the head so two different functions if you just put in oh uh, well another one this is a uh, a moon explorator, a space toy, the M27. I do have one in my collection, but I haven't shot a video of it, so this is someone else's video on YouTube. But if you put in a vintage moon explorer M-27, it'll pop up and you'll see it. But again, on the remote, which was shaped like a rocket ship, which was kind of cool, if you pushed one button, all four legs would make it walk forward. <clears throat> and if you pushed the other button, the uh, it would stop walking, the door would open, a little guy, an astronaut, would come out with a camera, take a picture, go back in, and the door would close. So, two functions, very uh, unique, using one motor. And then, of course, this is someone else's YouTube as well, but just put in vintage remote control dog and you'll find hundreds of videos pop up because it was a very common mechanical device used in remote control vintage dogs. Again, on the remote there was two buttons. If you pushed one, the dog would walk, typically. And if you pushed the other, it would stop walking and typically bark with a moving mouth or turning head. Um, some of them would, uh, would walk with one button and you'd push the other button and it would actually sit and bark. So it was a little bit more complicated and there's even versions of the, uh, we've all seen the old battery operated dogs that you turn on that sit and the legs fold up and then they spring and the dog does a flip. There's versions of that where if you push one button it walks and you push the other button and it makes it, uh, do the flip. But on and on, the, uh, the old dual drive motor controller is is a favorite. It's been used in so many different toys that I thought I'd put up a little 3D printed version of it that you can make yourself and experiment with and see what kind of cool uh, ideas you can come up with to use it. And you can power two different things from one motor. <clears throat> 